Notice Lindy's not here this morning. If you missed her announcement last week, she'll be in surgery in a couple of hours at seven this morning to get rid of a cancer spot on her left lung. As you know, she returned to work in May after treatment for stage three colorectal cancer. And then she found out just last month that it did metastasize. A few weeks ago, she sat down for a special interview with another local mom also shocked by a cancer diagnosis. She didn't lose her smile, but she lost everything she knew. Things that you have to grapple with that you've never had to grapple with. And when Stephanie Pemberton was diagnosed with stage two triple negative breast cancer at 36, she still was in for a shock. More on that in a minute. Bring the whole family out, bring all your friends and family. We're gonna have something for everybody. First, if you're a Colts fan, Stephanie might look familiar to you. She's been with Colts marketing more than 15 years. She's also a wife to Keith and mom to Kendall and Caleb. I have a, you know, at the time, um, a six and a four year old and, you know, you start to think about the future a lot more and like, am I going to be there? And what if I'm not there? And um, that's hard to, to process. You know, our entire ownership team reached out to me throughout the process, the RSA family. Um, and and was there every step of the way and anything that I needed um, you know they were they were there and helpful and turns out some people supporting her the most would need support themselves during chemo she did genetic testing that was when I found out that I have BRCA1 she also has four sisters and three of them and her mom tested positive too while this was happening I three my three sisters that were positive all had prophylactic double mastectomies um, and my mom. So 2020 was, um, there was just a lot going on for our family. Stephanie managed to work the whole time and that's when I noticed her hair change while at home during my own fight against stage three colorectal cancer and eventually asked her to sit down to talk. I didn't expect I'd have to tell her mine had metastasized to my lung. So I will have to have surgery like in a month and then do three to six months more chemo. Oh. So it's, it's been a lot to take in, obviously. Yeah. Because as you understand, afterwards you, you deal with the constant fear you're gonna get it again. Mm -hmm. You know, I would imagine you probably deal with the same thing. 100%. If you just bottle it up, then you're kind of fighting your battle alone. And I always remember Coach Pagano saying, you know, no one fights alone. And I never, I mean, I knew what that meant, but I never really understood it until I went through a fight of my own and I realized we can't let anybody fight alone. Stephanie went through eight total rounds of chemo and she's now cancer free and monitored by her doctors. As for Lindy, she's heading into surgery within the next couple of hours at St. Vincent. So we're going to let you know how she's doing as soon as we hear. I know she's up, she's watching right now. So Lindy, we are wishing you luck and thinking of you right now.